Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to run R and Excel to generate uh, data for your t-test. So this is an inferential statistics test that allows you to look at the difference in means of two groups. So for my totally fake data here, I my hypothetical question is, do students studying in the library with or without cell phones spend more time? So this would be like, you get on the library's video footage and you approximate this data is all over the place. Some of it's in quarters, some of it's in tenths of an hour. So, you know, totally made up. But I want to know if there's a difference between students using their cell phones while they're in the library, studying for their classes, or not. So, um, this is a university library, of course. I don't think anybody's sitting in TJ's library studying for four hours, but you can look and see that all of these are labeled as they watch from person to person. They got a time and whether or not they had a cell phone. And so what we're going to do is pull up a program called R. And I already have a script ready to go, so I'm going to open a script. And that script is in my R stuff folder. And it's my code for students. And I, of course, have a backup copy because I'm going to modify it right now. So if you're looking at this code, actually, let's make that move it over here. We'll take a better look at it. So I have my name and the date and what this script is meant to do. I've also got this piece of code here that I always include at the top of my R scripts because that's how I was trained to do it. It just removes any existing objects and lists if you've been working on R in, you know, at that session already. And so the first thing you want to do is set your working directory because y'all are all going to be pulling this file up from a different place than I am. So this is the first place where you want to modify and put in your information. And so I'm going to pull up my information and show you how I get that working directory. So I go in to, I've got mine in my documents and under R step and under analyses and my cell use file. Oops, what am I doing? I don't want to open the file. I wanted to look at the pathway to the file. No, I don't want to reopen. I want to get that back up. So PCs do this weird thing here with the arrows, but if you click off the side, you actually get the pathway to the working directory. And so it's going to start with users. And then I'm going to copy that and go back to R and paste that in. Now, you'll note that I put in anywhere I have that hashtag mark, those are parts that, the pro they're just notes. Program's not going to read those. And so I've written a note to myself that I'm on a PC and I'm gonna need to change those backslashes to forward slashes. And so I'm gonna do that really quick. And then I can check. So I can control R to run that line and oh, I have an unexpected All right. So I needed that at the end, and then I can run, and it pulls that back up. So the first thing I need to do is put in the name of my CSV file that is in that folder. So I have the folder, and I've called the CSV file capital C and capital U cell use. So I'll go in, type in cell use, and run that. And so now it's storing my CSV file as an object, my dat, for my data. And so to make sure that this has actually all been working, I can hit Control-R, and 
here I have the information, get rid of this, and I can check. And it, those first six lines, that's what the head function does. Those first six lines do match my first six lines of data here. So that's good.